Hi, it's Jessie with Plan with Jessie, and I am back here with my llama zip planner. Now, I didn't know when I made the video about this where I took the rings out that it was going to cause so much controversy and anger. Um, I don't really get a lot of negative comments, but the amount of negative comments I got on the video where I took the rings out of this was sort of astounding to me. Um, you know, people saying I'd ruined the planner and how dare I take a beautiful planner and ruin it when, to me, it's not ruining it. I was making it functional for me. So I'm not ruining it. It's still beautiful. It still zips. It still works as a planner. It just doesn't have rings in it. So people need to relax a little bit, I think. You know, I, I don't think it was uh, that big of a deal to take the rings out. Um... So I had been using this to carry stickers and pens, but what I wanted to do was to see how it would work with my new Hobonichi Weeks. And someone commented on a video, they also wanted to know, know whether or not they thought this would work well as a wallet. So I thought I would try to do that as well. Um, because I am toying with the idea of making my Weeks into the wallet instead of the A6. Just because... Um, this one has more note paper in and I can use it at the ready to take notes and make lists and things. Um, so that's just sort of what I was thinking. So this would work already um, without having to make any changes. It would just tuck in there like that. And it fits well. It's almost the exact same size height-wise. Um, and it would obviously zip fine. So yeah, so you could do like that. Um, if you wanted to tuck the other side in, I think that would probably work fine as well. Let me center it. Yeah, see, that would work as well. You'd probably just have to take this pen out. Um, tuck that. This zipper planner doesn't really lay flat, um, so that might be an issue if you care about, you know, your Hobonichi laying flat. Um, I think I would probably just do it like this if I'm going to use it for a wallet. So there's a couple ideas I had for turning this into a wallet. So this wallet insert was, or I don't know what you call it, a traveler's notebook wallet insert, was actually originally a standard size traveler's notebook insert that I cut down when I was using a personal size traveler's notebook quite a while ago and I used the fuse tool to um, seal the top there so I was thinking this could work in here for a wallet insert could either just tuck it in there like that and then pull it out if I need access to the zipper compartment so then when I open it I would have access to whatever cards I needed. Um, I think this probably may have fit as a standard insert. I would check the sizing before you order a standard insert, um, but I think it would probably have fit in a full size, so then you could have three pockets, because this is a really tall planner. Um, let me see if I have a standard size Fodori. I can't compare it to. Yeah. So that's a standard. Yeah, see it, it fits in there. So I think that an, an insert made for a standard Fodori would probably fit in here. Um, you could also just use this pocket here to just put in whatever you needed. If you had, you know, a couple of cards, let's see if they would stay in. So if you wanted to just stick your cards, you know, your debit card or something in there like that, it wouldn't be super secure, but it probably would be tight enough that it would not fall out. Okay. The other thing, of course, is you can add a string here. Um, not sure if you could just use the holes that are in here already. Um, I guess I could try it. I have some elastic cord, and I'll just cut a length see if I can do that because if you had the string in there then it would be easier to add um, you know a couple of these or at least one of these and have it out rather than tucked in because um, you might want that let's see is, will that fit 
The holes might be a little bit low for that to work. You might have to, I might have to punch another hole up here. Well, let's try it and see. So the, there is a big gap back here, so you can easily reach into there, which makes this a lot simpler than some of the other planners. Um, I'm just not sure how I'm going to thread this when you can't see what's going on in the back. I'm just going to have to guess. Hmm. Maybe what I will do is see if I can just thread this in through here. So in here and then out here and that way I won't have to Oops. And that way I won't have to, uh, you know, lose it back there for so far. My fingers are really short, so <laughs> this might be easier for you if you have longer fingers. Let's see if I can just pull that through. Come on. going to succeed in cutting my finger. There we go. Alright, and then just put this down through here. And out. Whoopsie. I went through the bottom. I didn't mean for that to happen. I want it to go just under this pink part. I can do that because I don't want it to be blocking the zipper. No, it keeps trying to come out. Well, let's see. If I stick my finger in there, maybe I can guide it through. There we go. Okay. this will work. I do. Okay, let's make it tight enough. Yeah, I think this is going to work. Alright, so let's take this. I think I need to make this a little bit tighter. Because I want it to be snug in there, not sliding all over the place. Of course, you can trim these off when you're done, so it's not all flying all over the place. Oh, so that's nice. I think I probably want to flip this around, though, like that. And because this is so thick, because it, there is a lot of room with flies, you could easily add... Um, you know, another notebook and if you wanted to, let's see. So this is a standard size um, Fodori Traveler's Notebook notebook. Let me see if this would fit. Yeah, so that would fit too, like that. Let's see if I can zip it. Yeah, see that zips fine. So what you could do is have this. You could also have this. I don't think this is going to fit tucked. Yeah, that's not going to fit tucked. But what you could do is you put another elastic in. If you're not familiar with how to connect multiple books together, so you just take a piece of elastic, tie it in a circle, like a knot, and then put it through one book. And then connect it to, like in this case, connect it to the wallet insert. 
So then you have wallet insert, and you also have this pocket here for receipts or tickets or, you know, whatever else you want to keep in there, uh, coupons. So then you have your wallet insert. You have a notebook just for notes or whatever you want your extra notebook to be for. And then you have your Hobonichi Weeks here. Or, you know, you could just do multiple traveler's notebooks if you wanted to and not if you don't use a Hobonichi Weeks. So this could be a standard size Fodori that zips, which would be really cool too. And then there's still room for the pen. And it still zips perfectly fine, even though I added the, the elastic. And the good part is about the way that we did the elastic, the outside of the spine is still untouched. So it's still beautiful. So anyone who said that I ruined the planner when I took out the rings, I mean, my idea, I just made it better because I think that Traveler's Notebook System is better for me than Ringbound. So it's improved actually. So there you have it. Um, using the Llama Zip Planner from Michaels as a wallet slash Traveler's Notebook Fodori. Thanks for watching. Bye.